to your Solafidi family, real repentance leads to, to joyful obedience. That means when we, when we understand the love and the forgiveness of our Savior, it will lead to, to an unforced and, and joyful serving our God and loving our neighbor. That will be our focus for worship this coming Sunday. A couple things to, to keep in mind on our schedule, some, some changes that are, that are coming up that are new too. First of all, our uh, Sunday morning Bible study, um, 9.30 a.m., uh, same time as it always has been, um, will also be taking place over in the fellowship hall. We will be meeting in person for those uh, adults who would like to come for our, our Sunday morning adult Bible study. We will meet as far apart as we can get, I suppose, in the great hall. And we'll also continue to, uh, to broadcast that online. So those of you who have enjoyed um, being part of that Bible study on Zoom and on Facebook and YouTube, um, you can continue to do that as well. Coming up on our schedule, uh, the 10th of October, that's 1010 at 9 a.m., is when our pumpkins will be delivered for our pumpkin patch. You'll find a, a link below in the email or in the video description on YouTube. Um, you can sign up to be able to, to help out with the unloading of those pumpkins on that Saturday, the, the 10th of October. And you can also sign up for, for different time slots over the, the remaining days of October to be able to help to staff that pumpkin patch. Those of you who have done that in the past um, know that um, it, it isn't difficult to, to do it. And a lot of people have had quite a bit of fun um, meeting and spending time with, with others that they might not have known yet. That link for signing up to help out with the pumpkin patch is below. You'll also find uh, a note um, announcing our, our voters meeting that'll be taking place the day after that. That would be on Sunday, October 11th. It'll take Our voters meeting will take place after the 11 o'clock service. Um, we'll also be broadcasting that on Zoom for people to be able to, to attend. And you'll understand when you read the note that is there. There are a couple things that are um, reasonably important that'll be happening at that voters meeting. We'll be electing um, new members of our church council. We will be approving membership changes uh, for, for those who have been received into our fellowship and those who have been transferred to other places. We'll be uh, reviewing and, and approving an extension for our loan. And we'll also be approving our, our trustees to be able to uh, uh, replace our HVAC system up to a, a certain amount. So those of you who can, who can be part of that in person, uh, we'll be holding that meeting after worship on uh, the 11th of October at the 11 o'clock service. And others who, who might be able to want to attend that online too. Following that, um, a couple of weeks later, our fall festival will take place here at Sola Fide on October 25th after the 11 o'clock service. Um, we've had a lot of fun with that in the past, and I, and I pray that we're going to be able to do that as, as well this time. It'll be a little bit different with our, our uh, social distancing rules. Uh, we'll ask people to bring their own picnic-type food to, to enjoy. Um, we will have lots of games to play. There'll be some entertainment. Um, it, it, it promises to be a, 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 a nice day all around, so um, keep that on your calendar as well. Uh, Fall Festival on October 25th. Um, this Sunday will be our last opportunity if, if you would like to, to be able to contribute to stocking the, the Pingles pantry. Um, we've got quite a bit of things here um, just at the top of the stairs. If you'd like to, to bring something else or if you'd like to help supply uh, uh, gift cards, um, let's try and get that done um, or bring all those uh, together by this Sunday uh, so that at the end of September here they can uh, they can take those things home and and begin enjoying them with our with our blessing and with our uh, with our thanks for them being here. Continue to pray for one another though. Uh, pray for for so so many who are still struggling and recovering from illnesses and, and surgeries. Um, continue to pray for Tom Zintek and the Zintek family as as Tom has been diagnosed with this with this awful cancer um, and, and is preparing to, to start uh, treatments for it, pray that God would, would give Tom and, and the family the, the patience that they need and the joy that they need in these really difficult days. Um, bless us all with a confidence in both the Savior's forgiveness of sins and his e abiding and eternal love for us. And let us show that love to one another. Let's pray. Watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night. 
Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, pity the afflicted, soothe the suffering, bless the dying. And all for your love's sake, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless your weekend.